Your task is to find the animals and plants. And once you have found them all, you will be able to unlock a secret new area. This is the Jurassic period. 145 million years ago, a world dominated by giants. This area is a mossy plain. The water that floods these plains has evaporated, leaving just tiny pools. Diplodocus are a kind of sauropod, the largest land animals ever to have lived. They grow up to 45 meters long and can weigh 25 tons. Herds of them dominate and shape the Jurassic landscape. This giant could be up to 60 or more years old. These extraordinary monkey puzzle or Araucaria trees are well protected against browsing sauropods. The trunks and branches are armored and the leaves are very tough and spiky. This sandy path is a dried up riverbed. The huge dinner plate-like prints in the mud are those of a Diplodocus. Beside them are some smaller prints with three toes. This means that an Allosaurus has passed this way too. A huge female Allosaurus has just killed a small Diplodocus which has strayed too far from the cover of trees. If you leave a stakeout camera here, you can watch it eat and keep an eye out for scavengers that may follow. The tree ferns are a type of fern which form a trunk to grow taller, away from the competition of other ground level plants. They grow only from the tip of the trunk, and if this is damaged then the tree fern will die. The water from the volcanic slopes above pours down here in the wet season. The prodigious appetite of the sauropods means that they have to remain constantly on the move. This volcanic feature is called a fumarole. It is a crack in the ground through which steam and gas can escape. These rocky outcrops formed by erosion provide cover for predators stalking nearby sauropod herds. Allosaurus, the lion of the Jurassic Age. Up to 12 meters long and weighing three tons when fully grown, nothing can rival these predators. They are the only animals big enough to threaten an adult sauropod. Allosaurs have a very good sense of smell. The rumble of sauropods on the move. Although most of the time they will take easier prey, such as mammals and young dinosaurs, a herd of giant sauropods on the move is difficult to resist. The sauropod migration helps to weed out the old or injured, and Allosaurus congregate around the herds looking for an opportunity. The sauropods are alarmed by the presence of the Allosaurus. The shrubby Benetitalis are very common in this area. Cycads are a group of plants which are flourishing in the Jurassic environment. This is one of the most famous dinosaurs, Stegosaurus. It is from a group of armored dinosaurs, some of which had spikes as well as plates down the back, or even just spikes. The plates really formed a single row although they were set alternately slightly to the left and right of the midline. The function of the stegosaurs plates has been a matter of debate ever since they were discovered. Stegosaurus may have been able to increase the blood supply to its plates, making them flush red. There is a patch of strange looking sand here, surrounded by lush vegetation. 
it is actually fed by an underwater spring below. This makes the sand treacherously soft. In the middle of the quicksand is a stegosaurus. The smell of the area suggests that this stegosaurus has been dead for a day or two. Huge redwood trees dominate the forests on this dry landscape. This tree has been blown over in a storm. The entrance to a secondary vent of the great extinct volcano is just visible. This mound of earth and vegetation is actually the nest of an Allosaurus. If you set a stakeout camera here, you may catch a glimpse of her. Stalactites can be seen on the roof of this volcanic vent. They are formed from the minerals deposited as water drips from the roof. The tunnel emerges in a volcanic crater, once the center of a violent eruption, but now a tranquil area with a beautiful lake. Although the volcano is extinct, it still gives off heat. Steam and other gases rise from the center of the lake in the cool morning air. The warmth makes the vegetation lush, although there is a sulfurous smell to the air. A dragonfly flies past. They are one of the most ancient types of flying insect. Flies are gathering above a patch of vegetation. They seem to have detected something on the ground there. This little skeleton is all that remains of a mammal. It was a multituberculate, a common rat-like animal living amongst the cycads and gnawing at the vegetation. This skeleton is near plenty of water and vegetation, so the animal probably died of old age or from some illness. The crater is too small to support a population of predatory dinosaurs, so the little mammal's bones have remained undisturbed. The cry of an Ornithalestes comes from the forest. Maybe it is searching for dinosaur nests to raid. Use the electronic field guide map to find the location. The dinosaur nest has been disturbed. There is scuffed up earth and an eggshell. This unlucky Stegosaurus was probably attracted to the area by the greenery. The Stegosaurus's great weight must have meant that it became bogged down fairly quickly. Stegosaurus is famous for having a very small brain, about the size of a walnut. The Allosaurus method of killing is brutal. They simply run at the sauropods and take bites out of them, leaving victims to die of shock and blood loss. through meat. They're not firmly rooted and are constantly shed. These natural rock arches are formed by wind erosion. Diplodocus travel in herds of up to 20 animals, a mixture of adults and youngsters. The bare remains of cycads show that a herd of sauropods has passed this way. Their teeth are designed for stripping the leaves from their stems. The pterosaur is flying overhead. These intriguing creatures ruled the air in prehistoric times. Pterosaurs are related to dinosaurs and crocodiles, but are actually a separate animal group.
The occasional bones scattered around this area may one day become fossils. Fossilization is a very long process and the probability of a particular animal being preserved is incredibly small. The sound of a rock fall is heard coming from the desert region. Find where to go on the electronic field guide map. The earth tremor has caused a rock fall in front of the cliff. There is now a ramp of fallen rocks. Pterosaurs swoop low over the cliff. It might be possible to tag one with a camera and see the world from its point of view. Until now, you have only been exploring the environment. The flat floodplains stretch for miles. In the wet season, they would be giant lakes. As the dry season bites, these start to evaporate, leaving glaring white salt pans. Herds of giant sauropods migrate across the plains, heading for patches of forest which they haven't yet stripped of leaves. The young Diplodocus spend their vulnerable early years browsing under the cover of the forest. The Allosaurus must get close to the Diplodocus without alarming the herd. The smaller than the eye crest of this male show he's still an adolescent. Older animals have seen movement or smelled a predator. Oh, no! 